Hello gorgeous, happy 2023. I'm so excited to be here today. I thought that my first video for 2023 would definitely be a live stream, but um, the schedule didn't work out that way. So anyways, we're just going to go ahead and do a recorded video and then I'll be doing a huge New Year celebration live stream with you guys soon. Today we're talking about one of my most important and fun topics. I think this topic is a game changer. We're talking about emotional control. It is the number one thing that I want you to embody in 2023. I want this to be sort of the thing that you're solving for. At the end of the day, the reason that all of us or most of us are doing our inner work is so, so that we can have emotional control in our lives. When we don't have emotional control, the world is a very scary place and it's also costing you the life of your dreams. So I have some notes over here today. I also sent out a fabulous email today. Um, it's my magical manifestation email number one and I'm going to be doing this for the entire year where I send out emails worth of really potent manifesting tips and advice for you to live the best lives of your dreams. Okay. So what is emotional control? Emotional control is basically what you're solving for when you're doing inner work. It is like the outcome that you should be looking for. I think we can get sidetracked with other items or other goals thinking that if I get, um, if I do inner work, this will happen. If I do inner work, this will happen, right? Or I'll manifest this. But at the end of the day, if you go for the big thing, the foundational, the big rock, emotional control, you can have all of the other things anyways, because when you have emotional control, you can manifest money and keep it and not let it destroy you. When you have emotional control, you can have the kind of relationships that you really, really desire with your loved ones, romantically, parenting, like every single thing, relationship that you can think of requires emotional control because we do a lot of damage in our life when we don't have emotional control. If you want to be in the dream body of your life, guess what you're going to need? I'll pause over here so you can guess. Emotional control because otherwise you will be eating and um, sabotaging yourself. So as you can see, emotional control is the biggest thing that you should be solving for. Okay. Now, what emotional control is not? Because a lot of times, I think when I talk about emotional control, some people can think that it means numbness like not feeling anything and that is not emotional control that's a whole other thing that's like when you have trauma or a lot of conditioning and you've forgotten how to feel and you have numbed your body as sort of like a defense mechanism so that is not emotional control so someone walking around with um you know no emotions on their face and the inability to feel joy happiness sadness anything that's not emotional control. Just want to make it sure like what is not emotional control, right? So emotional control is the ability to feel what you want to feel and what you want to feel without conditioning. So you know those people that are like afraid to fully laugh or afraid to hold money because they think something bad will happen or afraid to show a show like their giggly fun pleasure side because they think that people will judge them. So that's not emotional control, right? They can't like just show up and feel what they're feeling. So I'm going to give you a lot of different kind of examples like this. So you can start kind of piecing that puzzle together of what emotional control is. Now there's going to be at least two people. There's always that one or two people writing. Well, how do I get it? Like she didn't say how I got it. So inner work is how you get it. I have been doing this for 42 years and I'm still working at it. So it's not a pill that you can take. It's not Amazon Prime that will just come, you know, ordered in a box. Like it is literally devoting yourself to your inner work and like getting better every single day, every week, every month, every year, every decade, every century. Like that's literally how it works. And if you need help with this, definitely check out my basic babe bundle. That's my starting out inner work package. I recommend everyone start there. And currently for the next 42 hours, it is $222 off of its full price. There's no code needed. Um, so it's like already discounted for you. And that bundle will give you all of the things you need to start your inner work in 2022 i'm sorry 2023 and beyond i'm still saying 2022 <laughs> it'll take a minute to get used to it so i will have that linked in the description box for you okay so emotional control is when you don't make other people 
responsible for your emotions. So it's when we are not like, well, he made me mad or she did this and then I'm angry or I would have been having a great day if that person didn't cut me off. So when you have emotional control, you're able to regulate, like feel what you're feeling, self-regulate and then return back to the highest vibration that you're used to feeling, right? So it's not like people aren't going to do stuff, right? Someone might cut you off, someone someone might do stuff to you or appear a certain way that might make you feel a certain way but you're able to process that and then return back to your like dominate emotional set point um, which as you get do your inner work it rises higher and higher so you're definitely not dependent on other people to motivate you inspire you lift you up right like we all have those moments or decades or years in our life where we've depended on someone else motivating us inspiring us like i'm not against that obviously i've needed that in my life as well but you get to a certain point point where you're able to self-regulate you're able to motivate yourself inspire yourself return back to your happy place without needing anything outward and so that should be the ultimate goal that we're working towards so i want to talk about the stages that i work with um the, the basic babe self-aware barbie uh, especially when it comes to lack of emotional control so remember that these are not on off switches they are like kind of on a continuum so if you think of like the lowest point of this the basic babe these are going to be your criminally insane you know these are going to be the people that have so lack of inner emotional control that they end up hurting themselves or other people hurting personal you know private property these are going to be the women that are slashing tires and you know the crazies basically and so that's the lowest form of the basic babe as you can see if you have no emotional control you know it can it can get pretty bad i believe that most people in mental institutions and jails uh, you know ha being held uh, are are in the basic babe basic boy stage like they can't Im control their emotions and so they've just fallen off the deep end the higher level basic babe is a woman that needs that daily dose almost like a cocaine hit of drama right like if if something one little thing happens she wants to make sure she posted on facebook instagram tiktok calls on her relatives these are the women stuck on text messaging spreading drama screenshotting stuff sending it to someone else um that person doesn't know that person was talking smack about them let's go ahead and make sure they know and they love it they think they hate it they're always complaining about drama but they actually get a high from it that's why they seek it out they last they make it last long if you were an emotionally stable and like if you had emotional control if something bad happened to you it would that would be it like you would feel it and that would be the end of it right so you wouldn't go and like make sure that it was lingering inside of your psyche and on facebook and on text messaging so i, I in my life uh, luckily this doesn't happen anymore but if i would encounter people like that that would start like sending me paragraphs of text messaging and screenshotting their family members text messages or their exes and sending it to me like i just that that's just something i don't engage with so i i see they're crazy and i raise them nothing so like they will get absolutely zero from me and because they need that high they will move on to the next person um they might text a whole bunch of people telling them i didn't respond or whatever but they're not going to get anything from me so they have to go find their supply somewhere else so that's how you can deal with um sort of people in that like stuck in that basic babe stage the self-aware barbie again has stages as well now the self-aware barbie highest stage is the boss babe stage right like this is the woman that can use a lot of her masculine energy at the expense of her female hormones of course but she can use a lot of that masculine energy to get things done to be focused people will to other people these people might appear to have emotional control or maybe they're not fooling too many other people but maybe to themselves but they don't they need every single thing to be a certain way everything to be on their timeline everything needs to be controlled a certain way for them to feel like they have emotional control so as you can see that is also not emotional control let me give you an example of that you guys know most of the clients i work with currently about 70 80 percent of the clients i work with come to me in that highest stage of the self-aware barbie and these women are like these are kind of like let me give you the vibe of these women that are in that stage what time are we starting i didn't get that email 
what is this for? What does that mean? What time will we get there? Exactly what time will we be done with that meeting? What can I expect from this course? How many modules will be in there? How many hours will each module be? How long will I have access to? Do you see it? It's like very military, right? Now, they might think they have emotional control, right? The problem is they deal with everything like that in their life, like with that same military kind of, because they are so in fight or flight that they need every little detail to be a certain way. That's how they treat their kids. That's how they speak treat their spouse that's how they treat their family right like it's like everything it's a very like military and if they don't have all these ducks in a row if everything isn't answered to their likely they start getting very uneasy and so my first job is to tell them i don't know i don't know how long that lesson will be i don't know what do you think that and like that will like start them like they, they might be like sitting in the corner going oh my god like this is so uncomfortable right but that's the thing. I want to jar them out of it. I want to say, can you sit with not knowing? Can you be okay with me not explaining the whole thing to you? Can you be okay with not knowing exactly to the second what time someone's going to get somewhere? And that's really, really hard for the self-aware Barbie because internally she feels very unsafe and she needs every single thing to be a certain way. That is not emotional control. It might appear that it is. It might appear like this woman's got it all together. No, it's coming from a place of fight or flight. So that is also not it, right? So emotional control is when we get into the realm of the million dollar babe and above, that's when real, really we're able to process it. So you, you get into the space of like feeling everything that comes up, not having to hot potato your emotions onto someone else, not like lashing out, not like making other people uncomfortable with your emotions or anything like that, but being able to feel everything that you're feeling and then returning back to your highest state, right? So experiencing whatever you experience at work, in your relationships, and then getting yourself back to your highest level. And that is the process of having emotional control. Once you have this, you can basically control everything you want from the highest level. Because if you really think about it, emotional control is the currency of the universe because it's the communication that we're sending out. So if you can return back to your highest state of emotional control, you're literally having direct access to source energy, to God, to the universe. And you can send out the exact signature of what you want to manifest, whether that's your dream body, whether it's your soulmate love, whether it's your you know, children, whether it's whatever it is, you can send it out that signal and get it back. It's not getting stuck in, oh no, I was going to send out the signal for more wealth, but like this guy cut me off, right? I was going to manifest my soulmate, but then my mom said this. So it's not, you're not distracted by all of these things in your environment. You're able to feel everything and then get back to that highest level. So again, if you guys need help with this, this year I'm sending out these really potent high vibration, like next level for me emails in my magical email list. I highly recommend you sign up for that. I have the link in the description box. The second announcement I have is the basic bay bundle, like I said, is for the next 48 hours, it is $222 discounted. And the code has already been applied. You don't have to you don't need a code. You can just sign check out and it's all done for you. And the third and final announcement that I have for you today is the Rebirth New Year, fifth annual Universe Guru uh, New Year's Intensive is happening live in Houston. We've done it live in Houston every year, uh, other than those two years with the pandemic that we had to do it online. But it's our fifth annual New Year Intensive, and we have just upgraded our room, so we have a few more spots for people. This is your last call for that. We have currently 33 people. Actually, I think it's 35 because we had two more people sign up. It's 35 people signed up for this. So it is our largest in-person event that we're doing. I typically try to keep it around the 22 mark or under, but I feel like as I'm doing my inner work and I'm growing and my team is growing, I'm able to hold space for more and more people. So I'm super excited to be doing this in-person intensive five years in a row. It's our new year intensive. It's called Rebirth this year. So I have a few more spots. As long as it lets you check out you're in. If it says sold out when you try to check out, then we're done. Um, I have a number in my mind that I want to 
hold space for. So super excited. That's happening on January 16th, 2023 is the full day intensive. Ooh, thunder. But the 15th is the uh, pre-party sort of gourmet dinner with me and the other girls and my family and I'm super excited to have you guys there. So all of these links are in the description box. Happy New Year. Subscribe if you're new here. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.